We begin tonight with that story of the happy family reunion for Edward Yesimulei, who spent 18 months in the hands of Al Shabaab. Edward Mulei, who served as a district officer, says he feared for his life many times and was surprised about his sudden release. Well, KTN's Sophia Wanuna begins our coverage with a moving tale of the former prisoner who is now overjoyed to be home. After months of uncertainty, fearing for his life and living in inhumane conditions, it was finally a grand homecoming for Yesamule. The lives of those who kidnapped him. Tears of joy and relief. Mule's father breaks down. A family reunited with their loved one after one and a half years in captivity in Somalia. After Thanksgiving prayers, Mullah takes time to recount some of his experiences in the hands of Al Shabab. Our days were basically dark days, black days, days without color. You, know, you wake up and you can't see color. You know, you're in this dark room, you're in this dark place. So definitely, you are seeing everything in, in monochrome, monochrome. Both hands have been padlocked to your legs. So at some point, you are medically a human being. At some point, you are ashamed. Mule says he fell ill on three occasions, contracting malaria and cholera. During their time in captivity, he estimates they were moved to 13 different locations, all the while blindfolded. Even while making the videos, it's a nikitu me pangwa. No. It's organized, like those clothes we wore, zili nunuliwa, to, that day to can do at Woge. We didn't even know, we couldn't have to return to Pata Uhuru. Mula's father says he's writing a book and has already penned down 200 pages detailing the trying time he and his family underwent while his son was in captivity. And they were being paraded in Somalia. I said, I will also parade my son to the press. But against all odds, Mule never gave up hope. At some point even my body was shutting down. But for my parents, for my wife, for my family, you can never give up hope. The government believes about 10 other Kenyans may still be inside Somalia, held captive by Al-Shabaab. We continue our fight against crimes, and specifically Al-Shabaab. Yasamule is a man one could say has been to hell and back. Happy to be reunited with his family, Mule says he is strong and looks forward to continue serving his country. Sophia Wanuna, KTN, Buruburu, Nairobi.